In this video, we're looking at um, transferring files between the server and your computer in Windows. There's a couple different options. Um, there's some graphical programs, and we'll show how each of those work. And there's a text-based program that's also built in to Windows. Um, let's start with one of the graphical programs. Um, so if you're in the CS Wiki, getting your system set up, there's a link, or you can search for Cyberduck Transfer. That'll take you to cyberduck.io. And you want to download. So you don't want to go to the App Store because they might want to charge you. So you want to download and click the download for Windows. It'll download and install. And let's just see what it looks like. When it comes up, um, the advantage of this particular one is it works for both Mac and Windows. If you happen to use both Mac and Windows, you can use the same program. Uh, the first time that you connect to the server, much like in PuTTY, you have to approve the security fingerprint. Um, and it's already connecting because I've used this before. The first time that you get connected, you're going to have to specify SFTP. CS.IndState.edu, your username and password, and connect. And once you do get connected, what you'll see here is a graphical display of your files on the server. We can open a file explorer and look at files on our computer. Um, so if I wanted to work on the programs on the computer here, let's say I want to work on H3, so I'll just drag that over. And then I get a copy of the H3 files. I could work on them on my computer. if you have Python installed on your computer or whatever you're using. So you could get those running uh, properly on your computer. Of course, I haven't completed this one, but once you do, then you can drag it back to the server. So you can drag in both directions and I'm replacing that file there. All right, so that's Cyberduck. Um, you can click around, um, right click at thing on things to see other things that you can do with Cyberduck, but at least you can drag files back and forth between the server and your computer. Another one of the options for Windows is WinSCP. And you're going to want to find the download link. Don't do the get it from Microsoft because they want to charge you. You just want to download and install. And once you get WinSCP installed, see what it looks like. Um, same thing, you're going to select uh, SFTP, ID state. .edu, your username, and your password. And the first time you connect there, it will also give you the approve the certificate or the fingerprint. And here, this is a little 
uh, a little different than CyberDuck because it shows both the server and your computer on the same window. So this is the server and this is my local computer. So I was inside of my documents. There's my H3 directory in my documents and this is the H3 directory on the server and I can just drag back and forth between these two windows. Going this way, downloads. I'm overwriting a file. And then going this way would upload. I'm overwriting a file. All right, that's WinSCP. If you don't want to install anything, then already built into Windows, you can run your CMD command prompt and SFTP if you have a current version of Windows 10 or whatever the current version is when you're watching this. Um, so you can SFTP your username at cs.indstate.edu and we're connected if we type ls then those are files on the server. I can cd to go into a directory. I can pwd to print what directory I'm in. And now I also want to see what are the files on my computer so that I can know where they're going um, to end up. If I do lpwd, that's for local pwd. So this is the directory I'm I'm sitting at in my computer and if I want to change that LCD and LLS is for local LS. If I want to go into my local H3 directory that I created, there it is. And um, so the commands for transferring get is download. I can download that way with get and put is upload. So your commands um, ls shows you files on the server, cd changes the directory, pwd prints what directory you're on, and then you have local versions of all of those, LLS, LCD, LPWD, and then you have get for downloading, 